This video demonstrates the automated alignment and test of the APX7000 radio using the Autotest 2 Motorola APX Series Automated Test and Alignment Program. To get the most out of this video, we recommend viewing these videos beforehand. The 3920 Autotest 2 APX7000 alignment option provides a quick and automated solution for the alignment and test of the APX7000 radio. The APX7000 test and alignment program is accessed from the Autotest 2 menu. A coaxial test cable is connected between the TR connector and the radio's antenna port. The USB plug of the programming cable is connected to a USB connector on the instrument. The radio can be powered by either a well-charged battery or an external power supply. Before the test is started, the radio is powered on. For accurate test and alignment, the program applies the loss factors of the test cable to its measurements. The loss factors of the test cable are applied by pressing the Edit Specs Cable Loss Soft Key. The program contains a utility that will sweep a test cable and store the loss factors of that test cable across the frequency range. The loss factors for up to five test cables can be stored for instant access. In this example, we'll use the cable that has its loss factors stored as Cable 1. The instrument will query the radio for its identity, and the Cable 1 loss factors will be associated with the test. When the Recall Current Radio Soft Key is pressed, the application retrieves the radio's information through the USB connection. Once the radio's information is retrieved, the cable loss factors are applied to the test. The cable 1 loss factors are saved with the radio's data by pressing the Save Soft key. The only thing left to do is to select which functions to align. The Phase 2 test options will only appear if the Phase 2 option is installed on the instrument. In this case, the radio is not programmed for Phase 2 operation, so we'll select all tests and just remove the Phase 2 tests. To begin the alignment, the Align and Test soft key is pressed. The radio's information, including model, serial number, and code plug, is retrieved. The radio's frequency band and power range are identified and the program will automatically align the radio according to those settings. As the results scroll past, note that the beginning softpot values are labeled as BSPV. The ending softpot values are labeled ESPV. And the cable loss will be noted as CL.
The reference oscillator alignment took 48 seconds to complete. Three minutes later, the 800 MHz broadband power has been aligned. After alignment, the 800 MHz broadband power has passed its test. The 800 MHz deviation balance was aligned in 3 minutes 7 seconds. The 800 MHz mod fidelity and symbol deviation tests are completed in 56 seconds. The 800 MHz receive burr test is completed in 57 seconds. After the 800 MHz tests are complete, the same alignments and tests are performed in the VHF band. After the tests are completed, pressing the Continue Soft key will return the display to the main menu. Here, the overall test results can be viewed. The radio reported to the program that it supported the VHF and 800 MHz bands, so only those bands were aligned and tested. The reference oscillator was aligned in the 800 MHz band for maximum accuracy. Though PA bias was selected for test, the program recognized that this test is only for mobile radios, so it skipped that selection. The front end alignments were skipped because they only apply to the UHF R1 and UHF R2 frequency bands. The detailed test report can be viewed and later transferred to USB memory stick by pressing the View Results soft key. The test results are stored internally and can be transferred to a USB memory stick by pressing the Copy Results to USB soft key. The test results can also be viewed on this screen by scrolling with the rotary encoder, arrow keys, or an external mouse. The results can be transferred to an external computer for record keeping and printing. Thus, the APX AutoTest 2 option package can greatly increase throughput, efficiency, and uniformity of test in a shop environment.